The world's glaciers are melting rapidly, losing three Olympic swimming pools every second, with the Alps and Pyrenees, which have lost 40% of their volume in under 25 years, being the most affected, according to recent research. 전 세계 빙하가 빠르게 녹으면서 1초마다 올림픽 수영장 3개를 채울 수 있는 양이 사라지고 있으며 그 중에서도 2000년 이후 지금까지 보유 빙하의 40%를 잃은 알프스와 피레네 산맥이 가장 큰 피해 지역이라는 최신 연구 결과가 나왔습니다. Yeah, this is the first sort of study that combined satellite imagery mm-hmm. from space and uh, on-the-ground observations for a, uh, quote, clear and more reliable estimate of glacier mass loss worldwide. So yeah. scientists have known for years that the glaciers are melting, which has uh, led to rising sea levels. But mm. um, what this showed is that glaciers in the rest of the world, not including Antarctica and Greenland, they had lost 5% of their volume between 2000 and 2023. So a little over two decades there, about 273 billion tons of ice. disappeared each year on wow. average. Uh, and that's equivalent to about 30 years of water consumption by the entire world. So the entire mm. world, what it needs for water, it had lost each year on average. So that kind of puts into perspective um, sort of just how much of the glaciers are melting. Yeah. And it's uh, leading to a lot of actual damage in the Himalayas. Mm. A village was wiped out last year because of a glacial lake outburst. So the effects of climate change are on us right now as we speak. It's not mm. something that's happening 10, 20, 100 years from now. Yeah, well, the glaciers are melting rapidly. Yep. Let's have a look at that term. Yeah, rapidly meaning very quickly, mm. swiftly, yeah. uh, expeditiously. Okay, yeah. that's a fancy word there. Sure. Uh, 아주 빠르게, rapidly, mm-hmm. R-A-P-I-D-L-Y. And the most affected, what does yeah, that mean? The most affected would be uh, people or sort of areas in this case that are, mm. have been influenced or changed. And it's usually in a negative or a detrimental way mm. um, to the greatest extent. So um, you can also be moved emotionally and you can be affected in that way as well. Yeah, you can, of course. Be affected is 굉장히 많은 영향을 받았다는 뜻인데요. 여기서는 이제 알프스와 어, 피레네 산맥이 가장 영향을 많이 받은 지역이다. 이런 의미로 The Alps and the Pyrenees are the most affected. 이렇게 얘기를 했고요. 어, affected가 이제 우리 감정에 대한 얘기도 될수 있으니까 You can be affected by something. You can be moved by something emotionally. Mm-hmm. Like sorrow or grief. Sure, right? absolutely. 자, 다시 한번 제가 읽어보겠습니다. The world's glaciers are melting rapidly, losing three Olympic swimming pools every second, with the Alps and Pyrenees, which have lost 40% of their volume in under 25 years, being the most affected, according to recent research. Now let's move on to the next headline. The United States has asked Denmark and other European nations if they can export eggs as Americans face surging egg prices caused by factors including an outbreak of bird flu, according to the Danish Egg Association. 조류 인플루엔사 등의 요인으로 인해 달걀 가격 폭등 상황을 겪고 있는 미국이 덴마크를 비롯한 유럽 국가들의 달걀 수출 가능성을 타진하는 공문을 보낸 것으로 알려졌습니다. Yeah, if you've been following sort of American politics in recent years, uh, even leading up to the election uh, mm-hmm. la- late last year, egg prices have sort of been uh, very symbolic of rising prices because egg prices are through the roof mm. at the moment in the U.S. I've had to ask my sister in Los Angeles if right. that's actually true, that eggs are expensive. And What did she say? She said it absolutely is. A dozen eggs, we're talking 12 eggs, will mm-hmm. be as high as $8 uh, where she lives. So we're talking more than Manwan, right? More than $10,000 wow. for 12 eggs. Mm. And uh, yesterday I went to go buy eggs at my uh, butcher, um, a, a 30 eggs for, I think it was like 6, 7,000 won. So um, you can kind of see just how expensive it is over there. But Mm. um, because it is an issue, uh, the U.S. is having to import eggs from overseas because there's been a big uh, bird flu outbreak that's affecting the prices. But, you know, Denmark and the U.S. are not really on good terms right now because Mm. of Donald Trump's, uh, President Donald Trump's assertion or threat to sort of annex or uh, really take over Greenland, Mm. which is right now an autonomous territory of Denmark. Of Denmark, yeah. All right. 
Um, to face something is the expression used here. Americans are facing surging air prices. Yeah, because they're confronting or dealing with this uh, difficult situation of egg prices going up. Mm. 직면한다라는 뜻이죠. To face something. Uh, what about a factor? Yeah, a factor would be uh, an ingredient or an element, I think I would say, uh, yeah. that contributes to the production of some sort of results. So uh, why egg prices are going up right now? Uh, one factor is the outbreak of bird flu, according yeah. to our uh, headline today. Mm. And another would be um, panic buying. Panic buying, uh, also just the overall economy, consumer confidence yeah. is uh, going down. Mm. So uh, inflationary pressure on uh, the dollar. Many different factors there. Yeah. 네, 여러 가지 요인들을 얘기해 봤습니다. Factor. 다시 한번 읽어볼게요. The United States has asked Denmark and other European nations if they can export eggs as Americans face surging egg prices caused by factors including an outbreak of bird flu, according to the Danish Egg Association. Now here's our final headline. The privately owned Blue Ghost Moonlander has captured rare views of a lunar eclipse from the moon's surface. 민간 달 탐사선 블루 고스트가 지구로 인한 계기 일식 장면을 달 표면에서 바라보는 보기 드문 순간을 촬영하는 데 성공했습니다. Yeah, so this lander touched down uh, on the moon back uh, in early March and on March 13th there was a lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse right. of course is different from a solar eclipse. It's when the sun, the earth and the moon line up together so the moon gets covered in earth's shadows. Right. That's how we see it from earth. Sure. But what this lander was able to do was it captured um, this phenomena from the moon's perspective. So mm. what happened was was the sun, uh, the earth essentially uh, covered the sun. Mm. Uh, and there was this one moment where a little glimpse, so you get the ring effect around because the sun is bigger than the earth, yeah. but then one portion of it, of, of sunlight sort of peeks out. So it makes it look like a big diamond ring, oh. maybe about a five carat diamond <laughs> ring perhaps, <laughs> if I had to measure, but yeah, yeah, um, so it is mean. a pretty I'm cool, the image right now. are you looking at it? Yeah, if you yeah. can go on the internet, uh, just search Blue Ghost Moonlander and you can see this image. Mm. 약간 반지처럼 yeah. 한쪽 끝에 이렇게 다이아가 있는 것 같은 모습으로 yeah. 어, 어 이렇게 개기식 모습이 보여지고 있네요. 찾아보시면 될것 같습니다. Yeah, it's pretty cool because normally when we say a lunar eclipse or solar eclipse, it's from the perspective of the, the earth, earth, right? From That's where right. we are. Yeah. But to see this uh, happen from uh, the surface of the moon gives you a different perspective. Mm, absolutely. 그래요. 그러니까 이 블루 고스트가 촬영을 한 거고요. 지구가 태양을 가린 mm-hmm. 어, 계기 일식 장면입니다. 근데 이제 영어로 루나 클립스 그러니까 헷갈릴 수 있죠. 루나는 달인데 right. 어, 이제 지구를 기준으로 말하다 보니까. So in a way, it's a solar eclipse from the moon's perspective. Yeah, right? that's right. 그러니까 달의 입장에서 봤을 때는 solar eclipse라고 해야 될것 같지만 Possibly, yeah. 지구를 기준으로 우리가 영어 표현을 씁니다. 자, 어, 단어 좀 볼게요. Privately owned. Yeah, so if something's privately owned, it's uh, it's owned by a private individual or an entity, organization, mm. as opposed to government owned or a public body. Uh, mm. Things like a state-owned company or a publicly owned company. 그렇죠. 자, privately owned라는 것은 민간 소유, 개인 소유의라는 뜻이 되겠습니다. Mm-hmm. Uh, state-owned라고 하면 은 국가에서 운영하는 게 되겠죠. 자, 그 다음에 capture something. Yeah, in this case, uh, we're talking about a, an image 음. or a picture. So you're preserving it uh, in kind of a, in permanent form, uh, like a scene or sure. uh, in this case, this uh, lunar eclipse. 음. 우리가 이미지 같은 거 캡처하기도 하잖아요. Exactly. 인터넷으로. Right, 음. uh, like a screen capture you're talking yeah. about. I think, yeah. um, you know, I think I would say screen grab. Screen grab. I think is how, uh, <sighs> you know, the kids these days are calling yeah. it. But uh, mm. in, in Korean, I think you say capture, mm. right? The screen capture. But um, mm. you can also say screen grab. Uh-huh. 우리가 이제 화면을 캡처한다고 할때 영어로는 좀더 자연스럽게 um, screen grab. Mm-hmm. That's that's the noun form, isn't it? Yes. So you, how would you make a sentence? I, uh, you know, I, 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 I got a screen grab. Of the image before it was deleted. I got a screen grab. Yeah. 어, 이런 식으로. Right. 그래서 그 캡처 이미지를 내가 
어, 확보했다 예. 이런 의미가 될것 같고요. 캡처라는 것 자체가 어떤 장면을 포착한다 이런 의미가 있거든요. Yeah, essentially, capture and grab mean the 음. same thing. It means yeah, you're trying sure. to catch something, right? And forcibly 맞습니다. hold it. If you capture a, a, a prisoner 음. uh, and you put them into jail, you're forcibly holding them. 음, 맞아요. 자, 그리고 다시 한번 어, 그 루나 에클립스라는 단어만 좀 보게 되면 은 월식이고 솔라 에클립스는 이제 일식인데 이것도 어, 그 뉴스 기사들을 쭉 보게 되면 은요 다양하게 묘사가 돼 있기는 해요. 음흠. 그래서 일부 우리말 기사에는 보면 이제 어, 지구, 아, 태양, 지구, 달 이렇게 나란히 있는 어, 계기 월식이다 이렇게 뭐 묘사하는 기사도 있기는 합니다만 이제 음. 엄밀히 말하면 은 지구의 기준에서는 개기 일식이라서 yeah. 여기 예, 좀 헷갈리는 부분입니다. Right. 단순히 해석만 보지 마시고 <웃음> 내용을 보시면 은 아, 이해가 될것 같고요. 찾아보시면 이미지가 예뻐서 이것도 어, 좋습니다. You know, it's not the first time a spacecraft has observed uh, this sort of phenomenon from the from near the moon. Yeah. Uh, back in yeah. 2009, uh, an orbiter that was launched by Japan Space Agency mm. saw saw this happen as well. Sure. 자, 그럼 다시 한번 제가 읽어보겠습니다. The privately owned Blue Ghost moon lander has captured rare views of a lunar eclipse from the moon's surface. All right, well, those were our five headlines with Shane.